What is going on, Governor Jisco here, and today we're going to talk about how troops die, and uh, yeah, it's really important to understand that. I checked in with a whole bunch of high-level players, got a bunch of different answers, and took a little bit of digging to find the little info button over here, which explains the whole thing in depth. If you like detailed guides on how the game mechanics work, you should totally like and subscribe, because we're going to cover that really, really well to give you all the information you need to smash your enemies. We are sponsored by the makers of Rise of Civilizations, and let's get this party started. We're going to talk about the treatment of the wounded, how and when troops die, and how you can prevent that from happening, because yeah, that's really, really painful. Now, the pop-up you're looking at here took me a while to find. The way you get to it is you tap into your hospital, you tap the band-aid with the cross on it, then you tap the info button, and it gives you the full details on how and when troops die. Who knew? It took me a while to find this. Now, we're going to walk through these different situations, and it's worth mentioning that in a recent video, I thought that when you were defending your own city, half of your own troops would die, but that is not true. The first point that is listed here is that when you are defending your own city, all severely wounded units are sent to the hospital. So if you're healing through your hospital, theoretically, you will not have troops die, which seems really, really important. Uh, also, very compelling reason to level up the capacity of your hospitals. Now, when you are in an allied city or allied structure defending against an enemy attack, that is when half of your severely wounded units will die instantly. When you are battling at an, an enemy on the map or at a resource point, all of the severely wounded units are sent to the hospital, which I think most of us already knew. When you're battling at an enemy sanctum, altar or level one pass, all severely wounded units are sent to the hospital. When you're battling at shrines or level two passes, half of your wounded units will die instantly, and that's severely wounded units. And when you are battling an enemy at the lost temple or the level three passes, all severely wounded units die instantly. Wow. Really, really painful. When you attack other player cities or alliance buildings, all severely wounded units die instantly, which we knew. This is why being the defender is really strong. Uh, your troops are going to the hospital and theirs are just dead. Now, it's worth mentioning that if your hospital is full and there's no room for those severely wounded or severely injured units, then they die off because they needed to receive treatment and they couldn't get it. Crucial. So this is why it's very crucial to be healing through your hospital capacity and to be leveling up your hospitals. Now, these hospitals take a whole heck of a lot of resources to be leveling up, and it's worth kind of aligning that with events that reward you for gaining a lot of power because these buildings do give you a whole heck of a lot of power when you level them up. Right now, I've got capacity, as you saw, for 216,000 troops, which is less than 25% of the troops that I own. So I'm going to be working to level this bad boy up. Now, I have heard a rumor that I have not been able to verify myself, so I want to clarify that this is a rumor. But the rumor I've heard is that if you have lower tier troops, for instance, I've got a few tier one siege units because they move really fast, and that's really good for doing resource gathering. Uh, the rumor I heard is that they will fill up your hospital capacity fast because they die off before your higher tier units. I don't actually know how the health mechanic in-game actually works for unit health, so I'm going to go research that and bring that to you in a future episode. But in case that rumor is true, it might be worth upgrading your lower tiers of units to higher tier so that you are less likely to run the risk of having your hospital overflow, and in particular to fill up with the lower tier units, which are the ones you actually care the least about saving. Now, there's one other way that I know of that can protect your troops, troops from deaths, and that is actually your watchtower. Now, not many folks know this, but the watchtower has a troop protection rate, and that troop protection rate is based on the health of your watchtower. You can tap into the info button to get the details here, and it's worth giving this a read. Now, the watchtower automatically defends against invading enemies, and when the city's garrison's under attack, the watchtower absorbs a percentage of the damage dealt by the enemy. So instead of your troops taking the damage, it goes to your watchtower, which is really handy. Now, when that watchtower falls below 10% health, they're no longer going to be able to attack the enemy, and the watchtower recovers its health at a rate of 1% per minute. Now, that watchtower attack and troop protection rate are correlated with the watchtower status, and as the status worsens, the uh, troop protection rate will decrease.
as well as the attack, by the way. So I'm a huge fan of the Watchtower. I think it's a very, very powerful building. And I'm working really hard to level it up right now. Uh, why am I working to level this thing up right now? There is an event, and this is a pretty good segue into some of the holiday events that are happening, uh, called the Christmas Crisis. And when you defeat barbarians, they drop saddlebags that have arrows of resistance, and they carry those areas of resistance at a really high drop rate. So I farmed an ungodly number of barbarians today. I mean, like, we were barbarian slayers all day long, and it is worth showing. Like, I got third on the barbarian killing portion. And I mean, like I pushed pretty hard, but could have made a push for first. Anyways, all that to say, I am so serious about leveling up the Watchtower because it is a monster on the defensive front. And if you get a look again at this Watchtower and you tap the info button, you can see how the health and the attack level up. And it's worth noting that at level 21, it gets a huge boost in attack at a rate that is greater than any other upgrade as far as I can tell. So getting, oh, uh, well, except the 25. 25 is bananas. Holy moly. You get the point, though. Going up to level 21 is a big deal. And I guess in the future, 25, I'm going to have to think about that later. Um, so I'm working really hard to get to 21. And the best way to do that is to be grinding barbarians right now. So, my friends, I hope this event in this... Um, this walkthrough has been helpful. I actually didn't understand previously how troops died, and I noticed a whole bunch of other players misunderstood this as well. So hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, please do like and subscribe. Leave a comment if there's anything that I missed. And until next time, my friends, you have fun smashing the kingdom.